One of my favorite movie is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Indiana is forced to pass three trials to reach the Holy Grail to save his father's life. Each test becomes progressively more difficult and requires wisdom and deep convictions to pass them. In today's passage, Jesus teaches us that there are three tests we need to pass to be abundantly fruitful in our Christian walk. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first test is the path, the test of attention. There are four types of soil in this parable. The soil sows the word of God to all of them. The first type of soil is seeds on the path. Jesus explains that the path is people who hear the message without paying any attention and let Satan take it away immediately. They have no intent of receiving the word from God. They may be requested to come to church by their family, but they are far away from God. The second test is the rocky ground. It's the test of growth. There are many people that receive the gifts of salvation readily and gladly, but they do not deceive, they do not develop their roots. The Bible teaches us that we must develop roots by personally studying, studying the Word of God, praying and obeying God's Word daily. Some Christians may actively participate in church activities, but without these fundamentals and develop relationship with God, they floated under trials. The third test is the thorny grounds, the test of worry. This is the most severe test. This is the test of worry and desires of the heart. The Greek word for worry is what causes us to have two minds, one mind for God and one mind for the world. To be truly effective, we must remove these thorns in our life so that we can focus and trusting in God in everything. If we pass these tests, the Bible promises that we'll be exceedingly fruitful, producing 30, 60, and 100 folds. My application today is, we're living under the uncertainty of the pandemic. People losing their job, losing their businesses, and even losing their lives. This is the true test of our faith today. To be effective, we must first be attentive to God's Word. Then we must actively develop our relationship with God. And lastly, we must take all our worries away and trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Then we, our hearts are ready and our mind in action so that we can go and be abundant and fruitful, fruitful Christians for God. My prayer today is, Father, thank you that you have given us your word. Help us to develop relationship with you, to grow deep into you, and to take our worries away so we can focus on you. Take our anxious heart from what's happening around the world and focus on you so that we can be fruitful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.